And the police searching for the suspect wanted in connection with the shooting that left two people dead. But officers haven't said much about what led to the crime. Investigators found one of the victims in the parking lot of the smoke shop at the corner of Curryford Road in Conway. Channel 9's Michael Laparty is live there. Michael, neighbors told you that corner has become a popular hangout place at night. Vanessa, the people we spoke with say many of those visitors tend to gather right here in the parking lot near this food truck. In fact, one of the victims was found nearby, and now neighbors are hoping that the surveillance cameras that you see up at the top there caught something that can help solve this crime. Today, the grief was too much for this woman who leaned over the back of the gray car in tears. People who knew the victim showed up at the scene. They did not want to talk, but Harry Patel did. The crime unfolded in the parking lot of his smoke shop around 1130 last night. They happened like uh, outside nearby the food truck and uh, some two people buying the food and they got some fight. I don't know why they're fighting or something. And some other guy come and they have argue and they shoot the two people's. Patel says he had no idea what happened until he spoke with his sister this morning. It's not related to our smoke shop. To be honest with you, we have never problem with the smoke shop. Orlando police aren't saying much. Investigators would only tell us that they responded to a shooting and found one of the men dead in the parking lot and found another victim dead while securing the scene. James Hoyle says he's seen people gathering near the corner at night in the past. They hang out here to get the food and to buy the merchandise that the guy sells over here. We asked, but police have not said whether they were able to obtain anything useful from multiple surveillance cameras posted on the food truck and the business, which point directly at the parking lot where one of the victims was found. Police say a possible suspect was seen leaving this area wearing a gray hoodie and jeans and carrying a gun. It's not a lot, but that's the only thing that police have released so far about a description. They're reporting live in Orlando, Michael Lopardi, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.